everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys and we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Sands at loggerheads as Malami weakens NBA powers in New Gazette. Yes, guys, uh, um, um, the National Bar Association, they are in uh, a loggerheads with uh, Malami. As um, he brought out a um, New Gazette that um, they are not okay with, it's quite uh, interesting and quite shocking to note. Let's um, remember that even recently, uh, re um, um, during their conference, they, after the conference where they, they, they cancelled the invitation of um, Erufai as a speaker in that conference, a lot of things has gone on. And um, some Northern um, lawyers, they set up a new, uh, they called it NNBA, New Nigerian Bar Association. And um, Malami was dragged into all of it, um, looking like he was supporting it um, sort of sort. Of. So, but anyway, guys, uh, we'll get more um, insight into what is going on. Um, this new gazette that Malami has brought out and that the NBA that are not okay with. We'll bring you details um, shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. A new gazette by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami San, which supposedly weakens the power of the Nigerian Bar Association, has caused division among some senior advocates of Nigeria and lawyers in the country. Malami had amended the Rules of Professional Conduct for Legal Practitioners 2007, removing the requirement for the NBA stamp and seal on court processes. Before now, membership of the NBA was compulsory for all lawyers and the stamp and seal were sold at 4,000 naira for 72 pieces and were given upon payment of NBA dues. Without the stamp, a lawyer could not submit any document or letter to the court and the sale of the stamp and seal was one of the major sources of the NBA's revenue. However, with the amendment of the process by Malami, the use of stamps is no longer necessary. This also implies that persons who are not members of the NBA, including non-lawyers, are allowed to submit court processes. The development occurred less than a week after a splinter group known as the New NBA wrote a petition to Malami asking to be recognized by the federal government. The Gazette marked S.I. No. 15 of 2020, issued by AGF and dated September 3, 2020, was obtained by Sunday Punch reads in part in exercise of the powers conferred on me by section 12 or 4 of the legal practitioner act cap l 11 lfn 2004 and all other powers enabling me in the behalf i abu bakar malami san attorney general of the federation and minister of justice and president general council of the bar make the following rules the Rule of Professional Conduct for Legal Practitioners 2007 is amended by deleting the following rules, namely 9 of 2, 10, 11, 12, and 13. This rule may be cited as the Rules of Professional Conduct for Legal Practitioners Amendment Rules 2020. The NBA had become factionalized last month following the decision of the association to withdraw its invitation to Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasi Erufai, who had been billed to speak at its annual general conference. Thousands of persons, mostly lawyers, had called on the NBA to recite its invitation to Erufai, who was accused of several cases of human rights abuse and being unable to address the killings in Southern Kaduna. Following the decision of the NBA to recite its invitation to the governor, Several northern branches of the NBA boycotted the conference and interpreted the act as one based on religious and tribal considerations. A group of mostly northern lawyers led by Nuhu Ibrahim and Abdul Basit Suleiman subsequently set the new NBA, otherwise known as the NNBA, and wrote a letter to AGF asking the nation's chief law officer to recognize the splinter group as a new association. However, while some senior advocates and lawyers describe Malami's action as illegal, 
others disagreed. The NBA spokesperson, Dr. Rafpulu Nduka, told one of our correspondents that the development was surprising, adding that the association was not carried along. We were not carried along and we will definitely ensure that it is reversed. We just woke up to the news of the amendment like every other person. We are consulting with stakeholders and will make a decision to the next step, he said. A human rights lawyer, Ebun Olu, Adeg Borua San, said, Malami ought to have consulted widely before making the move, which he said will greatly affect the revenues of the NBA. He, however, said it was unlikely that the AGF had taken sides with the splinter NBA group. Adeg Borua also said once the seal and stamp were no longer used, the development could lead to an increase in the number of fake lawyers in the country. He said the issue of stamp and seal has helped in removing fake lawyers from our midst, and I think it will serve as a setback if you go back to the regime when you cannot identify a lawyer through his process. As we speak, other professionals like engineers, surveyors are embracing stamp and seal as a way of identifying their members. The stamp, which is a means of generating funds, help in making the MBA self-sufficient so that it will not be running to politicians and non-lawyers to raise funds. Even though I agree that the AGF, as the president of the General Council of the Bar, has power to make regulations, but he ought to consult with those who are affected, namely the NBA, the body of senior advocates, and even judges, because we are all in the same profession. Also, a former chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, Professor Chidi Odikal, described the AGF's action as illegal. In a series of tweets, Odikalu said he was not surprised that Malami, who has a penchant for disobeying court orders, would take such illegal acts. He said the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, claims to have amended rules of professional conduct in the legal profession under power conferred by S-1241 of Legal Practitioner Act. We have HAGF, who can't do basic due diligence. The only way to go is to totally disagree and ignore this illegal amendment by Malami. It does not exist and did not happen. It seems clear that Malami decided to go rogue on this. As on other things, he has on the disobedience of court orders because he knows that he can't get his proposal through by the bar council. So my people, Malami has got uh, a lot to deal with. Uh, we can see very well that the NBA, they are not just going to swallow this in. I mean, um, he ought to have consulted with them before taking um, such a decision. Anyway, guys, um, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.